Well, it's just great that uh, the day has actually arrived. People are coming in, all the bits of the jigsaw are coming together, and we hope it'll be both a, a celebration and a commemoration, and something that uh, Ballyclare and Ballyclare comrades will remember for a very long time. trenches to recover the fallen, the sound of singing begins to be heard. to come along today uh, to provide sort of a Christmas truce with the World War I and the World War, uh, with the Germans and, and the British sides. And with my uh, company I have, we have the uniforms and a lot of the equipment we've built up over the years. And of course some of the guys themselves have their own stuff, uh, being reenactors, and they really appreciate the, having the fun, it's a good day out for us. Um, but we have a very serious side to it as well, uh, that we want to portray history, uh, especially Irish history, no matter where it come from or what closet it come out of, uh, as it happened, and therefore educate our locals uh, and the local people of the area and the greater people of Northern Ireland and the world, because we, we, are, we go to Europe as well, so we represent uh, Irish regiments, no matter what cut they were from uh, in Europe at all different sorts of battles. Well, it is a really special event. This whole uh, reenactment of the what happened at the Christmas Day, World War One. Uh, I think we're all very sensitive to the fact that it's a hundred years have passed since uh, since World War One, which they thought was going to be a short affair, but it turned out to be, of course, horrendous and horrific for so many and for families. And the fact that it's here at this ground where comrades from the war came back and and, and really, you know, established this football ground and this football club, I think uh, adds a a real poignancy to it. Ladies and gentlemen, as Mayor of Newton Abbey, can I extend a very warm welcome to you all here this afternoon? And especially, can I extend a welcome to our representatives from our twin town in Dorsen? Especially the Mayor, the Burgermeister, Tobias Stockhoff. And I want to thank those here in Ballyclare, especially the Reverend Bell and representatives of Ballyclare Presbyterian Church 
for coming up with this idea to poignantly mark the 100th anniversary of the Christmas tree. I think it's a great idea um, to remembrance this uh, um, piece in uh, 1914. A great idea of uh, Reverend Bell and uh, yeah, our Twin Towns Association in Dawson say uh, please drive to uh, Belliclair, please drive to uh, Newton Abbey and uh, say some words and look this uh, special game between German and uh, British uh, footballers. I think it's um, very important in this uh, situation because we see all over the world not peace and uh, I think this game say us we try peace in every time and so I think it's a very good idea. As chairman of Bollycare Commerce Football Club it's a great pleasure for us for to have uh, Bollycare Presbyterian Church, especially Mr Bell, to take uh, this opportunity for 100 years and it's fantastic that uh, we can house like, such a fantastic day here so we can it's a great occasion and especially for us because we were formed in 1919 so of people who come home from the first world war it's a wonderful occasion a very poignant occasion and specifically as this is the centenary of the truce in the first world war that we've all heard so much about but never really had a chance to so today you've got a reenactment a little bit of fun about the first world war but the key is remembering that on that day there were all sorts of truces across the front line and that football and kickabouts were played and it you know was a light moment in five years of probably misery and i think we should all remember that too